Okay, so we went all the way back. We got some olive oil to oil this baby. There we go. So now it should um, should spin fine. Spin like a dream. But the thing is, I don't remember the order it has to go in. Even by the sound, I won't be able to remember. So um, I won't lie, I tried to cheat, but I'm not finding it. So we're going to walk all the way back to that... Uh, that area where um, the order of the symbols are in the different colors. We're going to memorize that, and uh, then we're going to walk all the way back and uh, do it up. All for what? I don't know. But I do remember, or I think I remember, that's one of many puzzles to come. So, hopefully, one puzzle an episode and. Um, We'll get through this. Open the Bifrost. Okay, so we walked all the way back. There's the symbols I gotta remember. I'm gonna do my very best to draw them. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Okay, done. What, uh, what do you think? I don't think it's half bad. Let's just see if we remember them. Now we take the long walk back. Okay, we're finally back. This is when uh, art class pays off. One. <laughs> this drawing's pretty bad. Um, that's not the sound. Maybe this one? <laughs> Let's hope so. I have no idea. Definitely that one. Uh, that was the easiest one to draw. Then definitely this one. May. And then definitely this one. Survey says... Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, I did! Woo! God, way to leave me in suspense. You're worse than American Idol. What did I get? What? How did you... That was... I... 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 <laughs> Gage, have you been reading the strategy guide again? No, I've been drawing. A white stone. Okay. Look, another Buddha statue. That one is I wonder if there are any other colored statues around here. Maybe the ever elusive Fuchsia Buddha? So. We we clearly remember there were other Buddhas. Am I supposed to get a stone from each one? And how many are there? And what are they for? And uh It just sounds like a lot of work. What do I, what what am I doing here? What is this place? Hey, there's a Buddha over there. To your left. I think. Yeah, something there. Oh wait, it's not a Buddha. Or... That white statue is holding a lute, a musical instrument, while the other hand is outstretched as if it's waiting for something. Mother of God. White, white stone? Wait, I wanted to read that. What the? F Ooh. A red Buddha. That red statue is holding a sword. That must be the next object we need to offer to the Buddha. So like a red stone. I think I understand the gimmick here. 
Once you give the object of salvation to a shrine, you are given a stone of enlightenment. You transcend the realm once you place the stone in the hands of the same colored Buddha inside the temple. Okay, so we need to go find a red Buddha to get a red stone. And I guess so on and so forth. Oh my god, how many are there? I mean, oh my Buddha. More than I thought. White, red, one, two, three, four. Four, maybe five if they're going to be picky. And then I guess the piece of legacy is up there. Easy peasy. We haven't even been in here to the right. Check it out. Check what goodies are in here. Where's that Buddha? That's a Buddha if I ever saw one. The shrine of the human realm. To humbly contain our pride. What does that mean? Coin? No. Healing water? No. Sun disc. No. Oh, Sunny D, alright. <laughs> uh oil? A stick? Looks like there's another inscription on the base of that statue. To Aunt Edna, hope you're feeling Buddha. Cousin Morty? God damn it, Arthur. The dangling cylindrical columns hanging from the ceiling are victory banners. They oh. represent the victory of Buddhism over ignorance and death. That other banner represents the victory of the Boston Dob Dobs over the Nepal Red Yaks in the 44 series. That's a good game. Good game. I had a lot of money riding on that. What do we got over here? <gasps> a person! Feel like we're a safe disguise to talk to this person. Please don't punch me in the face. Hello. Ah, Himul. Good. I wanted to speak to you about the garden. Himul. Oh, what? You don't look well. What? You have worked yourself too hard. Perhaps you should try more meditation to relieve your tension. Perhaps you should mind your own damn. How is the garden today? I've been working hard on that garden. As I said, I'm working on it. I'm working on it right now. Excellent. Thank you. I'm sure you will get to the root of the problem. Holy shit. Did you just... No fucking way. What year is this? 1219 AD and you came up with that gem? Good for you, man. The garden is not well. I was lying. The garden is not doing well. I don't know why I lied. I feared as much. Losing the next crop could be disastrous. Check the roots of the wishing tree in the steam tunnels to see if they are healthy. Okay, see, that joke wasn't as good. You can't start with a high and then just let us with a downer. Tell me about the temple. The temple was built long ago by the first Siddha to teach us about the wheel of life. Athanka. A large tapestry hanging in the Athanka temple too. shows the Buddha appearing in each of the realms carrying specific objects of salvation that alleviate the suffering of those in the unenlightened realms. You got too many teeth in your mouth. If anything in this monastery sounds like a long-lost alien technology, it would be transmutation. I don't think the Sosiqui who created the legacy came to Shangri-La to teach the monks a more profound way of milking yaks. Good call. The Lama said that it's the responsibility of all Buddhists to alleviate suffering. We know the shrines around the monastery are dedicated to the beings suffering in the unenlightened realms. The question is, how are the shrines related to the test of the Sita? Uh, I'm not really focused on that, but what else you got? According to the Lama, only by walking in the Sita's path can one discover his secret. The Sita died and is now on the wheel of life. Gage, we have to follow his path and overcome the realms of the unenlightened. Well, yeah, we need to get all those those stones. But what's your other idea? Gage, the answer must be in the Temple Thanka. By offering the salvation symbols to the shrines, as the Buddha is doing in the Temple Thanka, you can transcend the unenlightened realms. The test of the Sita is a metaphor for escaping the wheel of life. 
I got that, Arthur. Tell me something I don't know. I'll put it in layman's terms, Gage. Thank you. We have to offer specific objects to each of the shrines. Salvation objects that relieve the suffering of the unenlightened. By escaping the realms, you become a full-fledged Sita. No longer a nobody, you're with the in-crowd. No more catcalls, no more snapping towels from other monks in the locker room. Oh yeah. Then there's the sandals. What are you talking about? Alright, we're gonna go try and find a couple more Buddhas, get a couple more stones. And then I'm gonna deal with Arthur. So, the only place that grows spiritual fruit for the Praetis is the Wishing Tree. But it's sick. Well, Gage, put on your green thumb, find some miracle grow, or fertilize the tree with your wisdom. But one way or another, we have to heal this tree. Arthur, you genius son of a bitch. We have healing water. So we gotta go down to the roots and heal the fucking tree. Yep. So down here. I hope. It's happening. It's happening. There's the roots. It can't be this simple. Oh my god, it can. No. And you said you didn't have a green thumb. I never said nice that. Nice job, Gage. Thank you. Glad to see we're getting along for once. Last time we got along, I said you were the best wingman. Which you are if you just fucking... I love you. Never mind. Never mind. It's me. It's me that gets in the way of our relationship. I know I'm... I'm a negative Nancy. I'm a Debbie Downer, you know. <gasps> Fruit! Yes! But either way, no more. It's you and me, Arthur. We're on a journey, man. I immediately take that back. So you want the fruit. Yes! Oh, we got the yellow stone. This inscription sounds cryptic, but important. I'm not much of an authority on Buddhas and their realms, so we should probably go speak to the Lama about this. Speak to the Lama about what? We got the we got the stone. Let's see him thank us for fixing the tree. Buddha be praised. The tree has been healed and the crops has been saved. Why? Even my cold is gone. You're welcome. Someone must have appeased the Praetus. Me. Where's my fucking thank you?